Hey, what's up everybody? Clint Hansen here with Ballistic Advantage, and today we're going over low profile gas block installation. So a couple things you're gonna need right off the bat. You're gonna need your hammer with soft side on it. You'll need your roll pin punch. You'll need your roll pin starter punch, the 2S. Uh, and also, for those of you getting a Ballistic Advantage pin low profile gas block, you'll need the 4S roll pin starter punch. And we'll do that here at the end. Uh, but for starters, if you'll notice, I have my gas tube installed already. If you're installing a low profile gas block, have it in there, then you don't gotta worry about fishing it in there. It's not really a big deal on a mid-length, but if you were to be building a pistol, you'd probably notice it's hard to fish it in there after your block is already installed. So I already have it set up in there. My barrel nut's already torqued on and I'm ready to go. So if you had a bead busted barrel, it'd be you know, more important, um, but you wanna check for no burrs in here and then oil the barrel prior to putting it on so you don't scratch the surface. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, when I first initially put it on, if it weren't pinned, this would be more of an issue. So a lot of you at home that just buy low pro and you're building your gun, uh, first thing I do is I just snug those set screws just a little bit. So I wanna make sure it's not loosely spinning on here, but I don't wanna snug it up and dent the barrel yet and have it make a little memory so the screw goes there every time because you wanna adjust it. So, and before you go to tapping it one way or the other, which is what I'm about to do, make sure you have a lighter color behind your, your rifle when you're building it so it creates some contrast because you're going to have to use your eyeballs on this. So I'll raise it up for you so you can see. But what you want to do is just eyeball the middle of your bore and kind of just track that up with your dominant eye and kind of split the difference with your receiver. So I'm holding and securing the barrel on one side, and I'm just going to tap it. And now I like it and it's centered. So it's not loosely on there, so it's pretty secure. And now I'm gonna go ahead and secure it all the way. Now that I'm tight, I'm gonna go ahead and check it before I snug up the other screw. All right, it's good and it's in place. Um, I'm going, gonna go ahead and tighten up the other screw. If you aren't pinning your low pro at this point, you would take your screw out, put some Loctite on it. This thing's gonna get hot, they loosen up. Your low pro loosens up and now your gun's not functioning and that's not good. So go ahead and snug them both up. I'm gonna go through uh, driving in your roll pin for this. Um, if you remember on the other video, I was talking about bracing the barrel. So anytime you're starting to beat on it, like I said before, don't stand out here and start beating on it. Remember, you gotta brace it. So the set screws are holding it in place and then I'm just gonna put my body against the barrel. So now my body's taking all the, all the shock. Now I'm going to take my flat punch and split the difference. Kind of feeling it there. All right, take a look underneath. Try to go a little more. All right, so for the most part now, it's already installed. Uh, another thing when, with a pin low profile gas block, we use a coil pin. So once you get in, you got a little play. And I see a lot of times when guys when they first line it up, it's crooked, then they put their roll pin in, it'll go in while the block is a little crooked. So a good rule of thumb is to now loosen those pins and then see if it's leaning. And use that play you have in a coil pin to knock the block straight one way or the other when you're going ahead and checking it with your rail, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna do it on this, but because um, I'm already lined up pretty straight, I'm in the holes that I was in before. So next thing you wanna do is just like on the uh, last video we did, I'm gonna install this little, uh, the gas tube. So all you're looking for is daylight. Make sure you're on your roll pin mark on your gas tube. And then the same rule of thumb. Take your 2S, brace your barrel, and start it in. Now on a front side post, you have a flat surface. You can flip this around or have your flat one, but with a low profile gas block, you, do, you don't want to mar this, this block or do you want to mushroom out this roll pin? Because if you do, if you have to take this part later, it makes it hard. And then also it's just, you know, it's not pleasing to the eye as well. So this way it makes it easier. It's in there nice. And if you do have to take it apart, it makes it a little easier later on. And that's basically it. So I'm all installed, my pins in. Like I said, remember, after you get done with the installation, your pins are already in, or when you have one set screw in, take that set screw out, put some Loctite in there, 
and do the same thing with the other one. But uh, hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.